Hi dear friends, this is Myra. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to those my subscri subscribers that have been watching me all the time. And for those new to my channel, uh, please take your time and in the end, don't forget to subscribe. I am here to talk about my plant who is having problems right now. My plant, just one right now. My plant who is having problems right now. Right now I'm dealing with this plant and I've noticed that it's the leaves were browning and upon checking these plants um, I noticed also that there's some kind of little animals or insects crawling on top of the dirt I would say it's not flying it's just little tiny that you could mostly see it by using microscope or if you get too close to it because they're so little little bugs so anyhow i started doing treatment so today is like thursday friday saturday so it's like i did treatment for the third day so today i'm not doing treatment so if you are wondering what kind of plants of this this is my uh peperomia rubber or rubber peperomia so um and also if you are wondering what kind of um insecticide i've been using um this is what i'm using to treat this plant um this is insect insecticidal multi-purpose insect control basically it's like soap and it's ready to use uh bonide that's the name of this um spray i got this from the greenhouse and it says kills aphids, millibugs, and white flies, and it ki kills insects in minutes. So, so far this uh, pesticide or insecticidal that I'm using seems to work, and I check it today, and it seems like all the little, little tiny, tiny insect is gone. So, but I can't be sure because it's only I only sprayed it three times so I have to spray it again maybe sometime tomorrow so I will give it a, a one week and see how it goes and then then we'll fully fully say it's did work 100% but I'm in the probably would say 75% works because I don't see any more so I don't know if they're just hiding, but I pretty much dig the dirt and I don't see it. And so, but this plant's still in quarantine. I don't want to mix it with my other plants because I don't want to transfer the bugs into my other plants. So that's for the meantime, this is sitting right by my counter area in the kitchen. So I call it like my little, uh, how, uh, my little plant clinic. <laughs> that's what it's doing there right now. So if you're dealing with problems like mine, um, try this. Maybe it will work. It will work for to treat your problems. So far, it did works for me. So yeah, I recommend this. Try it. It's it's not very expensive. I forgot how much is this, but totally affordable. So or else you can do mix your own. You can do use your um dishwasher soap and the water or apple cider vinegar and mix it and that will work too but i kind of wanted to try this to see how it goes so i think it works and anyhow if you are looking the back of me i have a new background it's different yes i get rid of my big king chair or lazy boy that was sitting here behind me because um, there were no poor force for that because hardly nobody sit there and it feels like it's more tight in this area because of that huge lazy boy. So I moved that away. I put that in my bedroom, which is now my bedroom is getting too tight there because of that big recliner lazy boy. So pretty soon I'm planning to get rid of that because I don't need that anymore. It's like useless. I don't know why we get that big recliner i don't really like it so yes see my new organization arrangement of my plants i'll give you a little tour so 
that's how it looks so I want I'm not gonna do a one by one to show it because you already seen it before but that's how it looks but I that's how my new arrangement of my plants right now so maybe I'll give you a little glimpse of how it looks so that's it I will show you around a little bit so guys this is my new um, plant arrangement so I got this stand from Home Depot because I said like I said it's getting crowded here so I need a new stand for my plants so I I moved them all here I basically showed you all already what kind of plants I have so I'm not gonna go through one by one this just this is the recent one so I'm gonna do and um, replanted this I just don't have time to go to the store and look for planters so that's it and i put my water bottle here this is the plant water that i use i always refill this so it's ready because uh how i water my plants i got it from my top water and so i don't want to water it right away so what i do is just save it and then when it's ready to water it's my water is ready so that's how it goes and and i put some plants in here also and this st plant stand I got this from um, St. Vincent de Fall trip thing guys yes I got the there's still tag I just got this on I believe Thursday I got this for two dollars and fifty cents so when the weather start to warm up I might repaint this with a white color we'll see so and then in here I move my plants in here that's my birds of paradise and I have my humidifier underneath it's working right now and the rest of my plants that's how it looks and I have my radio there because from time to time I turn on the music so my plants can enjoy and listen you know guys Plants like to some music too. They like different kinds of music. Depends. So I will turn on the music so they can listen and enjoy because I think it makes them perks up and be happy. Because they can hear, they can they can feel. Like if I'm done talking to them, they are listening to the music. So that's all guys. So just a little quick glance of my new arrangement of my plants so I don't know I put that <laughs> rugs in there because so the drops won't come in and that's my water so to water my plants that has water so it'll be ready because I don't want to get the fresh water from the top so everything is ready when it's time to water them so how it looks so now that's how it's my new plants arrangement look right now and so far I'm liking it <laughs> so I'm debating if I want to put a Christmas tree in that corner <laughs> I don't know what's going because I don't have a very big place it's everything is so compact here and so small so um, that's what I'm thinking about we'll see how it goes but I might do put up my tree just to put a little Christmas spirit here although there's no one going to enjoy it because starting on Tuesday I'll be back to work again so I'll be working a lot of hours so no one's gonna sit there and watch the Christmas tree but I will try so hope you enjoy my little tour of my new plant setup arrangements organization and my sick baby I hope you guys continue to watch my channel and continue to support me thank you and have a good time don't forget to like comment down below subscribe and let me know how things goes to your plants and if you have any problem with bugs try this <laughs> that's all i can say have a good time everyone bye don't forget to subscribe bye everyone